नमस्ते एंड गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू मॉर्निंग सेशन नमस्ते गोपाल भैया नमस्ते दीदी इज इट विजिबल जी भैया स्क्रीन इज विजिबल ओके दीदी ओके सो वेलकम ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन इन दिस मॉर्निंग सेशन वेयर वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग एक्सरसाइज 2 एंड ट्राइंग टू ऑब्जर्व द इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन सेल्फ so let me brief all these steps then we will start with observation so in this exercise 2 we are trying to observe the body and the interaction between me and the body so in step 1 we are observing myself we are observing body so when i observe myself i can observe activities going on in me when i observe body i can also see activities physiochemical activities going in the body so based on this direct observation i can say that i exist and based on observation of activities going on in body i can say that body exist so both realities exist together distinctly so both are in coexistence but both are distinct realities the objective of step 1 is to see the conscious unit to see the material unit so as a conscious unit i can see myself and as a material unit i can see body so the self and body are two distinct reality then in step 2 i am observing interaction between me and the body and i can observe that interaction is taking place in the form of information so i, I give instruction to the body whenever i think it is important i read sensation from the body whenever i think it is important so interaction is taking place in the form of information so that instruction is also an information that sensation is also an information no physiochemical things being exchanged between the two between me and the body with this in step 3 now we are trying to observe who is decision maker so with observation i can see i am the one who decides to give instruction to the body i am the one who decides to read specific sensation from the body so it is my choice when to give instruction when to read specific sensation so with this i can see that i am observer i am doer and i am enjoyer so i observe when i think it is important to observe and when i observe i decide what to do with the information then whatever i decide i experience happiness and unhappiness of that decision so in that sense i am seer i am doer and i am enjoyer and body is my instrument so body just follows my instruction with this in step 4 now i am reading the sensation taking place in the body and while reading i am trying to see am i the sensation am i in the sensation am i separate from the sensation so with this i can see there is a separation between me and the sensation so i am not hard bound with the body i am at a distance from the sensation so in that sense i am not dependent on the body i am free to interact with the body whenever i think it is important to interact with this in step 5 we are trying to see sensation from different sources sensation taking place in the body from different sources so we discussed four possible sources and once i am able to find sensation once i once i read sensation in the body then we have seen that decisively i read the sensation then i associate meaning to the sensation in conjunction with my sanskar that may be based on knowing or assuming i get influenced or i will not get influenced it depends on my sanskar based on this i feel happy or unhappy and then i decide to react or respond 
within me once i decide i instruct my body and i express my reaction or response outside so this is how i am involved with my sanskar when reading sensations happening in the body so this we discussed in detail with many examples with many observations now in step 6 that is extension of step 5 we are trying to see reaction and response within me expressing my reaction or response outside is my choice i may express it i may not express it but whether i am in a reaction i am in a response that i we are trying to see in step number 6a and 6b so in step 6a we are you know, trying to see reaction when reaction happens in me this is we are trying to see in step 6a so when my sanskar is based on assumptions without knowing so then my decisions are influenced if they are not based on reality sanskar are not based on reality so if i am not able to ensure a state of continuous happiness within me so i keep seeking happiness from outside sometimes from sensation sometimes from feelings from others so for example if i like that taste i am not able to ensure happiness within me so i try to get happiness from this taste and i want to continue with this taste that's why we feel craving clinging attachment etc similarly when i dislike the taste or any feeling mm-hmm. i become unhappy and i like to discontinue with the taste this is again a reaction within me so what i think is okay for me and okay in the sense sensations and feeling from others when i think it is okay for me i want to continue with it when i think it is not okay for me i want to discontinue with it so in that sense i am dependent on my sensation i am dependent on the other person or world outside because i am not able to ensure happiness in me with right understanding so i become dependent on the sensation happiness uh, coming from sensation that i am driving from sensation or happiness that i am driving from the feelings from others so this is enslavement so why it is happening because my sanskar are based on assumption and i am not able to ensure happiness within me in continuity in 6b we are trying to observe response so if my sanskar are based on knowing right understanding then i can have right feeling and its continuity in me so the continuity of harmony happiness can be in me with right understanding so if my sanskar are based on right understanding it is based on knowing then i interact outside with response in a mutually fulfilling manner so if i am happy within myself and i am reading sensation of the body or world outside then i decide how to respond it so sub for example if i am reading feeling and uh, sensations coming from feelings of others then i decide what to do with this sensation so i read this information and with that information i evaluate other person i evaluate the state of my body i evaluate myself and with this right evaluation i respond outside right suppose a person is showing anger that sounds come into my ear i read this sensation and i am happy with my sanskars because now i now my sanskar are based on knowing so with this continuity of happiness i will read that sensation and i will evaluate that person's state state of his or her sanskar once i evaluate his or her sanskar then i will 
see how to respond that person what is right program for that person how can i help him or her to develop right understanding now i am trying to respond outside with responsibility because i am happy within me similarly some physiochemical change is happening in the environment i am reading sensation right and i am happy because of my understanding now i will read that sensation and with this sensation i will respond to body what best can be done for the body but i will not try to get happiness from the sensation from the environment that happiness is ensured with my understanding with that understanding now i will respond with responsibility in a mutually mutually fulfilling manner so now i am not in reaction i am in a response so when i am re response i am in response i respond outside when my sanskars are in harmony i am in state of happiness then i use these sensations to respond outside with responsibility in a mutually fulfilling manner okay so now the behavior work of the other physiochemical changes state of the body has no influence on my state of happiness and i am aware that i am self organized as other units are so i am aware of my self organization so that's why i am not bound with the body with the world outside now i am not getting affected from the behavior of the other from physiochemical changes from sensation going on in the body because i am happy within me now i will respond outside in a mutually fulfilling manner so this is step 6a and 6b so this was the assignment which we are doing since you know yesterday we have we are noticing when we react when we respond we are noticing am i bound to react or respond we are noticing what is a state of my sanskar and in every inter interaction in each interaction and we are observing this from many days so this is how step 1 to 6 helping us to see our sanskar helping us to see interaction between me and the body helping us to read the state of my sanskar imagination so this is we have covered step 1 to 6 now if we have sharing we can take one or two sharing then we will move to step number 7 ji bhaiya namaste namaste sir bhaiya am i audible clear yes bhaiya yes ji 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 so bhaiya uh, as per the discussion with uh, you yesterday and uh, during this last 24 hours so i have sincerely done the exercise all these steps whatever you are given particularly the four number one was observing uh, my expressions my sentences my speaking my gesture number two was events outside whatever is happening number three was events inside what is happening and finally my feelings so i will take one two minutes uh, step by step the first thing which was given or the exercise which now it is the habitual i can say and i am observing throughout the day as if there is a scanner on my body and as if i am in the camera or cct so i am watching all the time now also while speaking my hands are blowing like this my fingers are just as if i am explaining to somebody else though i am alone here so this is the state and it is continued i am just watching whatever is happening and not giving any can uh, say uh, reaction so it is all the time in the responses suppose uh, means uh, somebody is waving hand myself is also waving hand but it is with the uh, uh, response second very important thing i could observe yesterday the here in nagpur uh, from yesterday morning and right now also a continuous raining so there was a a very uh, can say critical situation outside when you you come on the road there was the water but i was not influenced by all this external parameter i took my umbrella i i'm always going with my friend 
and walked through the uh, somewhat half feet water by holding my pant uh, up to the knees. And I have done. Ten thirty, I went to college, done my regular duties. Again in the evening, I came back, and throughout the day, I was busy with my own thoughts. So this is the second one. Third, as per the timing, at two uh, p.m. There was development of the hunger inside the stomach, physiochemical action. So I took my lunch as it is and was happy all the time throughout the day without any irritations or without any internal uh, dissatisfaction or reaction. Finally, in the evening, I had to present in my uh, regional meeting my presentation. Today also having my RP development presentation. So prepared a lot and with all uh, you can say happiness i was i could present yesterday and there was a nice discussion and again by 10 i went to the bed and now at 5 am as usual with my internal all these observations happily i started and raised the hand so this is all my 24 hours you can say observation you may comment thank you Bhaiya. moving towards again the <laughs> dust hour thank you Ji. Nice, Bhaiya. This is good. If you are Ji. not affected from outside environment, from half field, water on the roads, etc. So Ji. this is good and all of us can do this if I focus on my activities of the self. Ji, Ji, Ji. That, that is very important. Sorry to interrupt. I should be or I am finding I am with the self all the time. For very less duration, um, I am seeing outside. Otherwise, I am all the time with the cell. Thank you, Bhaiya. So whatever is going on, and most of the time is going on in myself. So I use body when I think it is important. So outside is raining. I take this information with the help of body. Now I decide what to do with it. So if my sanskar are based on right understanding, then I will respond it. If it is not based on right understanding, I may react it. See. So this is up to us. Environment is same for all of us. So it is raining. This rain is for most of the people. But See. few people react on this. Few people enjoy it. Few people sit calmly, quietly and observe all those things. See. So this is a state of my imagination, my sanskar, how to <clears throat> interact with outside environment. Mm -hmm. So I may react, I may respond, this is up to us. And you have decided to respond, that's why you are responding it. So this is nice here that you are not getting affected, but keep, continue observing yourself, your yes. sanskar, and each time you Ask yourself, my sanskar is based on reality or it is based on some assumptions. So the more we observe our sanskar, the more we get resolved inside. And the more we are resolved inside, the most of the time we will respond outside. Ultimately, happiness or unhappiness is with me, with my decision. So I see the things as it is without over-evaluating, without under-evaluating. Then exactly. I feel comfortable within me. Yes. But I <laughs> over-evaluate, okay. under-evaluate huh. outside environment, body, myself. Then I feel uncomfortable within me. Yes. So very nice, Bhaiya. Keep practicing it. Yes. On the last minute, I will say the things which are not in, uh, you can say, my or self-control. Because it is the condition outside. How I can change that condition? I have to understand it rightly. I have to change myself. I have to take the proper decision. With the uh, response, I should take the chata or whatever it may be. I could, because to stop the rains, it is not in my hands. It is the natural calamity, you can say. It is the outside environment. So I should be... <laughs> But yeah, I find like this. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. So this is important uh, thing what you said. Mm -hmm. so for example, in body, mm -hmm. millions of cells 
are decomposing, composing. It is not in our hand. Okay. It is happening under some laws, right? Similarly, outside environment. Sometimes it is hot, sometimes it is raining, sometimes it is cold. It is not in our hand. It is happening with some innate laws. Yeah. Similarly, people around me, mm -hmm. they are interacting with interacting with me. Sometimes they are cool. Sometimes they are you know, shouting. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> they are not in my hand. Not in it my hand. It is happening right? because of his or her sanskar. Gee. What is in my hand? In my hand is I can observe my sanskar. I can read those sensation in association with my sanskar and I can decide whether to respond or react. So if I am happy within me, I will I decide to respond outside. If I am not happy within me, I decide to react outside because I am in a reaction inside. Exactly. Right. So my decisions are my in my hand. This is where I can work. So it is important that you have reached up to this conclusion that outside yes. environment is not in my control. Yeah. Thank you. And Thank I am not Bhaiya. bounded yeah. with outside environment. This we have to observe. Okay, Bhaiya. Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thanks. Namaste, Sabiko. Dhanyawad. Right. So we can take one more sharing. Namaste, Gopal Bhaiya. Namaste, everybody. Namaste, Bhaiya. Uh, uh... I want to share only a specific thing today that mm -hmm. in the assignment it was given that whether you have experienced a moment where you are talking in a crowd but still you feel alone, solitary feeling is there. And uh, as if you are thinking that somebody else is the talking, not me. That type of feeling I have seen, experienced some years ago. Frequently I was experiencing it. But now the frequency has come down. But still, I didn't know that time that what happened really. I am speaking, but why there is a feeling that I am, as if I am not speaking, somebody else is tipping, uh, speak, is keep, uh, speaking from outside. So therefore, uh, I had confusion that time, and I had no scope to understand what it is and how to understand it and reflect in my behavior. So that specific thing I want to share, and that is a question also. So thank you. Thank you very much. This yeah, much I uh, want to uh, Say it again. You know, sometimes your voice was cut. Say it again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sometimes it, it is found that I am mm -hmm. speaking in a crowd, mm -hmm. voice is there, mm -hmm. but there is a feeling that I am not talking, somebody else is talking. There is a difference between me and the voice. So that I could not understand those times, but now uh, I attempt to do it, but I have not found any conclusion regarding this. So this was um, my sharing yesterday work and that is a question also. So I want your guidance on this. Thank you. Is it clear now my, my question? Let me let me explain your question first and then, then you tell me whether I have grasped correctly or not. Yeah, yeah. So yes. you want to right. say that you sometimes you feel an other's voice in your mind. No, I am right? speaking, but there is a deep You are difference. speaking, okay. You that, are speaking. As if, as if I am not speaking. As if I am not speaking. But really mm -hmm. I am speaking. So that I have experienced. I do not know whether you have experienced such a situation or not. But I have experienced some years back. It was very frequent. But now the frequency has come down. But I let it go that time that, yes, I do not know what to do. But now, I hope that there is a scope to understand those type of behavior. So sometimes you are speaking even there is no one around you. Is it so? No, no. Even in crowd, 
I am talking. Even but I am, you are in crowd. You are speaking. Uh, suppose some four or five people are there. I am speaking. Okay. But still, hmm. there is a feeling that, yes, I, I talked really physically. But there is a feeling of difference. So that's what I wanted to say. Okay, let me reframe it. Right? Yeah, so yeah, you are yeah. in a crowd. You are in a crowd. Yeah. You are speaking. Right? Hmm. Hmm. You are speaking to hmm. whom? To somebody no else. One, uh, out speaking. Of, huh, no, no, with some so people are there. Okay, I'm with interacting. Someone. Uh, yes, okay, I'm are interacting. interacting. I'm answering or something, or I'm giving suggesting okay. something, but still okay. I find a difference. Yeah. What difference? Difference means as if I am not speaking. As if I am not involved in it. And okay, you are speaking, others, but it appears that you are not speaking. Yeah, yeah. And is somebody else is speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. And uh, sometimes I feel that, yes, perhaps they will not give any importance to my my talk. They'll just, just they will brush aside my opinion. So like that. So in yeah. a crowd, you are speaking, right? Mm. Yes. But you are not aware of it. No, I'm aware of it. I spoke. And what is question? What is question? Question is that, as if uh, I, uh, my involvement is not that much, or that I find a difference between me and my voice, uh, a gap in between. I don't know if it happened so, with you or not, but it happened with me. Uh, am I clear or not? I want to. Actually, I am not clear about your question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Means, so I... uh, my yeah 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 yes please speak. So if uh, any one of us, you know, in this panelist list can help me to reframe the question, then I can answer. Um, may I say something? Ji Didi, Ji I think it will be important uh, if Devi Prasanji checks what was his, you know. Uh, the feeling behind this bhav was he comfortable inside or uncomfortable no didi namaste mm -hmm. i was not uh, not comfortable i am not comfortable that time ah, so that I'm means yeah probably some sanskar in you made you have this feeling because of which you were uncomfortable and with that maybe Without um, without being aware, you wanted to distance yourself from what was being said, maybe. But that you will have to see what exactly happened there. But if you are comfortable, uncomfortable, important thing mm -hmm. is to see why you were uncomfortable. Na? To look at your sanskar, to see what what made you so uncomfortable? And then perhaps if you are comfortable within, such a reaction may not happen. That you may not mm -hmm. want to distance yourself from this whole situation. That yeah, is yeah. what I could understand. But eventually you will have to see exactly what was happening. Uh, but uh, Yes. But the, that is also very difficult on my part to realize that because sometimes I'm I am indifferent. I, I don't um, bother whether my opinion is kept or my, it is brushed aside or something you like that. that. So some yeah. sanskar uh, made some sanskar in you made that very important for you that time, whatever the conversation was or something. So that you <coughs> felt that this that they may not listen or something and it maybe bothered you. So you became uncomfortable. That is the important part. Once we become comfortable, then these other things will fall in place. Oh, yes. But my experience is that both. Sometimes I'm comfortable, sometimes I'm uncomfortable. Suppose they, they do not uh, listen to me. So I thought, yes, okay, that's, that's, um, that's their uh, description, uh, I mean, description. So I do not bother for that sometimes. That time I am happy. I am not uncomfortable. 
but sometimes a important thing I am talking and they just ignore. So in that case, so I am uncomfortable. Both these situations are there. I find, I have experienced. Oh, yes, no. so I yes. think the, that's what I'm trying to say is the important thing to notice here is when I am uncomfortable, why I'm uncomfortable so that I can be comfortable. If being comfortable, being aware, I see a distance between myself and the body, that's good. No problem in that. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. But being yes. uncomfortable, <coughs> I'm trying to see this distance. Perhaps I need to look into it a little more. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I will see more and I will try to uh, share. Yeah. Thank you, Didi. Thank you, Gopal Bhaiya. Thank, Thank you all. You. Thank you, Didi. So let's move towards step seven. So step seven, in step seven, we will now talk about the another reality, that is a space. Though we discuss it in exercise three in detail, but we will open it briefly here and we'll discuss in detail in exercise three. So step number one to four, if we recall it, of exercise two. In step one, we try to observe myself <coughs> and body. <coughs> so I am able to see activities in me. I am able to see activities in the body. On that basis, we can see that I exist and body also exists. Both are distinct realities that we discussed, we observed in step number one. Then in step number four, we are trying to observe myself and the body. And when I am trying to reading any sensation, that time I am asking, am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Or am I at a distance from the sensation, separate from the sensation. So at step four, I am able to see that I am at a distance from the sensation. Okay, so this separation, we can observe in step number four. So from step one to four, we are trying to observe that I am at a distance from the body. I am seer, I am doer, enjoyer, I am dis taking decision, decision to instruct body, decision to read sensation, and I am separate from the body. This is what we were trying to see from step one to four. Now, if I am able to see it, that I am at a distance from the body, then we can see more facilitation in this step number seven. So I am not a body, body is my instrument. I am at a distance from the body. Now I can observe that I am in a space. I am in a space in coexistence with the body, with each unit in a space. And this body that I am observing at a distance is also in a space. Also in a space. And in coexistence with space. So I exist in coexistence in space, body exists in coexistence in space, both are at a distance in coexistence in a space. So this we have to observe. So I transact information with the body through space as and when required with my choice, with my decision. I send instruction to the body through space. I read a specific sensation taking place in the body through space. So all this is happening in space. So I exist in space, body exists in space you know, with coexistence. And both are transacting in coexistence in space. So I observe this directly. I can observe this directly. I interact with the body time to time as and when I decide to interact. So in that sense, because I exist, in coexistence in space, I body exist in coexistence in space, both exist in coexistence in space. I transact information with the body or I give instruction to the body 
through space in coexistence in space i read sensation that taking place in the body in coexistence in space so we can say that i interact with the body from time to time and my being is not dependent on the body because we both are distinct reality coexisting in space in that sense i am not dependent on sensation i am not dependent on any outside object i am in coexistence with each unit of this existence in coexistence in space so my being is in coexistence in space so i coexist in space i coexist with each unit in space so in that sense i am not bound with outside world i am not bound with body sensation so i am in coexistence in space not depend on any other unit this is truth so this coexistence is everywhere this is truth now with this coexistence i am able to see that i am not dependent on any outside object on the body but i am related to all so it is important to note here that because i am existing body is existing i am existing in coexistence in space body is existing in coexistence in space we are transacting i am uh, transacting with the body in space coexistence in space because both are two distinct realities myself and body you know in fact i am a unit as a unit i coexist with each other units in space in that sense i am not dependent on other units because i am at a distance but same time i am related to all this relation that i am able to see with each unit you know with coexistence in space is love and with this feeling of relatedness now i am responsible towards all i will respond with a mutually fulfilling manner with all this is compassion so i coexist in space this is truth each unit coexist with in space this is truth i am related to all but not dependent to any unit but related to all this is love and with this feeling of relationship i am responsible towards all this is compassion so once i am aware of this reality once i am aware of coexistence you know my coexistence and each others each unit's coexistence in space then i feel related to each unit this is love and whenever i interact with any unit i interact with responsibility in a mutually fulfilling manner with each unit this is compassion so truth love and compassion i will feel this truth love and compassion if i practice all these steps with knowing of the space so what will i get in me i will realize truth i will have a feeling of relationship with everyone this is love and i will feel responsible towards all that is compassion so i will feel with truth love and compassion once i realize relation with all so this is step number 7 uh, we have to keep it open for ourselves that right? we have to keep practicing it so in exercise 3 we will talk in detail about this coexistence about this space right so this is this is step is actually a beginning of exercise 3 so detailing we will do in step uh, exercise 3 right so this is how we cover from step 1 to 7 of exercise 2 so now uh, i think sharing will start from 28th for new participant so tomorrow we will sum up all these steps from 1 to 7 exercise 1 exercise 2
then we will start sharing after one or two days so let me briefly tell you about the sharing then we will discuss this step 7 again or tomorrow we can take it so this is a few points about evaluation session right so in evaluation session you have to cover all these points so let me briefly tell you about these points then if time permit we will talk about step 7 again so in evaluation session we have to share our brief introduction your name your college your city etc brief introduction then your understanding emerging out of exercise 1 and 2 so this sharing is very important that you share it point wise what understanding you have gained from exercise 1 and 2 so you can start noting all these points then it will help you to share during evaluation sessions so you have to give your brief introduction share your understanding emerging from exercise 1 and 2 then how many steps are you able to see in yourself clearly so this will be very important for all of us now if you note it down clearly what steps are you able to see in yourself how many steps are you able to see of exercise 1 how many steps are you able to see in exercise 2 you can note it down and when you share you can share it step by step that this step i am clearly able to see i whenever i take decision i generally able to see this step on the basis of that step i know what is happening in me in this manner if you tell then it will benefit to all of us so how many steps are you able to see in yourself clearly how many steps you are not able to see clearly both part you can tell with your evaluation then you can share happiness is your innate nature are you aware or not this you can share are you able to see it or not so happiness is our innate nature not the effect from outside this we can share how many times i am able to see that happiness is my innate nature so if happiness is my innate nature i will respond if happiness is innate nature and i am not aware of it then i may react inside as well as outside so this we have to share whether i am able to see it or not or how much time i am able to see happiness as my innate nature so if you can see that happiness is your innate nature then what is your program to ensure it that you can also share it and how much of this program is for trying to get favorable effect from outside how much of this program is keeping in focus the self and how much of this program is keeping in focus the body is it based on preconditioning sensation or it is it based on natural acceptance so this all points you can think note down so that when you share you share in detail and you know, step by step so this will help all of us then you can also share commitment how much time can you devote for developing right understanding feeling how much time can you devote for social responsibility emerging out of your natural self expression so can you calculate the minimum time then you can devote and you know, for society for projects going on in your hv activities that you can decide for example 2 hour 3 hour 1 hour so this will be a participation in larger order so these are the points which we have to share during our evaluation session so you can note it down you can make a write up in each heading you can elaborate and share it comfortably share it in detail whatever you are able to see whatever you are not able to see 
Now, all those things you can communicate clearly. So that from next time, it will help us. Your sharing will help us. So next time we will be able to plan these sessions and according to your sharing. At what point we have to focus more, at what time we have to devote time, that we will plan. You know, once we listen your sharing. So this is about the evolution session. So you can take a screenshot of this slide or you can make points. We will also share this in the group. You know, so comfortably you note all this point you are sharing. You may write on paper of these points, then you may share that paper also. But in evolution sharing, if we will focus on these points, then this sharing will be qualitative and will help each participant. So sharing is also a session and it is important. Many times when I listen sharing of others, then I come to know about many points which I have not paid attention yet. So in that sense, it will be helpful for all of us. So this is about evolution session, about your sharing. So if we have any question regarding this, we can discuss it. We have five minutes remaining. Bhaiya, namaste, Bhaiya. Sabhi ko namaste. Bhaiya, this is about step seven. Mm -hmm. So as the human being, I am coexisting with body. How can we Hello. say that I coexist with other beings from can you give an example? Yeah, am I audible now? Yes, yes, it is. Now you are audible. Uh, my question is, as a human being, I am in coexistence with the body. Hmm. Can you give some examples to show that how I coexist with other units also? So for example, in a simple example. Uh, for example, for body. For example, for body, food uh, is required. Yes, Bhaiya. Breathing is required. Uh, Clothes are required. Uh, are we getting it because of coexistence or not? So, for example, food uh, and grains required for body. Yes, Bhaiya. So, because of this nature, many trees, plants, working with innate laws. And because of this innate laws, foods are available for our body. Can you live without this? No, but yeah. So you are in coexistence you know, with body. I am uh, taking example in reference of body. Uh, uh, uh. So you can see it, breathing is required. And breathing is happening in coexistence of trees, plants, right? Mm -hmm. So it is happening in coexistence. So this is example of coexistence of body with outside environment. Mm -hmm. Right? So are you able to see it or not? Or do you think you are independent, separate unit, you know, having independent with all? You are independent or interdependent? Interdependent. Yes, so you are interdependent. So this is coexistence. Mm -hmm. And you cannot live independently. Mm -hmm. At that, in the term of body. So you start thinking from uh, this view. Then you, then you start thinking of yourself. How I am in coexistence with other units as a conscious unit. Mm. But you start with body, then shift to your consciousness and ask yourself as a conscious unit how I am coexisting with other units. Mm. So for example, with body. So you are coexisting with body you know, mm. in space. But whether you interact with body or not body with the body. This is your decision. But you mm. are in coexistence mm. with the body in space. Then mm. you will see I coexist in space. Other units also coexist in space. 
and because of this coexistence i have a feeling of relationship in me that's why whenever i ask this question do you want to nurture your body or not so we naturally get an answer nurture the body mm. whenever i ask do you want nurture this body uh, nature outside or damage this nature so natural answer will be nurture the nature mm. so we are naturally getting these answers because mm. we are coexisting Mm. Yeah. so because of this coexistence we get these answers i want to nurture my body i want to make the nature prosperous i want to help others whenever i ask you what is naturally acceptable acceptable to you to help others or to exploit others what will be the answer help others to help others why you are getting this answer because you are in coexistence that's mm -hmm. why you have a feeling of coexistence that's why you naturally get this answer mm -hmm. but to see this coexistence as it is we have to be aware in ourselves we have mm -hmm. to be in a state of pure observer then i will be able to see this coexistence but till then we mm -hmm. can ask this type of questions so that we generally ask in uhp2 uhp1 what is naturally acceptable to you and what is naturally acceptable to you is naturally acceptable to all of us mm. so why this is naturally acceptable to all of us because we are in coexistence that's why we have a feeling of coexistence that's why we want to live in a mutually fulfilling manner right mm -hmm. okay so keep exploring didi so as i said this is the beginning of step uh, exercise 3 mm. so we will see in detail this is space and coexistence of units in space that we will see in exercise 3 right didi thank you thank you so much okay didi so this is uh, now time for hindi session